The National Infrastructure Laboratory is going to be a place where we can carry out research that will make our infrastructure, the things on which we depend to live our daily lives, more effective, more efficient, able to meet the demands that we place on it through extra use and also to be resilient for the impact of things such as climate change. It's a huge boost for the University of Southampton. We should be able to recruit researchers, both staff and research students from around the world. It also forms a very important part of our teaching availability to our students in terms of access to world leading facilities. We provide education in a research led environment and realistic engineering applications to solving some of our more considerable problems that we're going to be facing in future generations. The hope for the region is that we will start to engage with local industries, it will start to create employment. I think if you look at a, a, a lot of the major construction projects in the UK presently, they are major infrastructure projects, so Crossrail, HS2. In five or ten years' time, we should have a major hub which is world-renowned for infrastructure research. Addressing some of the major significant infrastructure problems. Not only railways, but also roads, pipelines, electricity supply, waste and so on. We'll be developing new solutions, working closely with industry, and that's very appropriate here on the Boldwood Innovation Campus, because that's really the essence of what we're doing, trying to apply sound science to solve practical problems, get it out into practice and really make a difference.